Okay, so this is what you need to know. Poker is a game with a million different variations, but only two ways of winning. You either have the best combination of cards, or you trick people into thinking you have the best combination of cards. The tricking bit is the fun part. Now before I show you what a game of poker actually looks like, you need to memorize the 10 hands of poker. There is no other way around this, you gotta memorize this shit if you wanna get good at poker. Coming in at number 10, you have the high card, which is when you don't have any combination of cards and you're forced to rely on your highest card. This is a fucking terrible hand. If you're new at poker and you're still learning how to bluff, don't play with this. Coming in at number 9, you have the pair, which is a pair of cards of the same rank. Fun fact, 50% of all poker hands are won by the guy with the biggest pair. That goes for most things in life, actually. Coming in number 8, you have the two pair, which is two pairs of cards of the same rank. This is a deceptively strong hand. In fact, if you play it right, you can make a lot of money with it, so don't underestimate it. Coming in number 7, you have the three of a kind, which is three cards of the same rank. Now this is a very solid poker hand, the problem is that a lot of people get cocky when they get it, and they tend to bet way more than they should, so be careful with that. Coming in number 6, you have the straight, which is a sequence of 5 cards of different suits. This is where poker hands start getting very rare, in fact, you only have a 4.6% chance of getting a straight, so yeah, feel free to bet big if you get it. Coming in number 5, you have the flush, which is 5 cards of the same suit in non-sequential order. When it comes to flushes and straights, a lot of people mix up which one beats which, so remember this adage next time you play. A flush flushes the straight down the toilet. I know it sounds stupid, but trust me, you'll remember that next time you play. Coming in number 4, you have the full house, which is a combination of a pair with a three of a kind. The full house is one of the strongest hands of poker, but it's also one of the most rare. In a normal game of poker, you'll see maybe one or two of these. Period. Coming in number three, you have the four of a kind, which is four cards of the same rank. I've only seen like one or two of these in my entire life. Coming in number two, you have the straight flush, which is a sequence of five cards of the same suit. I've never seen this hand in real life. And finally, coming in number one, you have the Royal Straight Flush, which is a sequence of five royal cards of the same suit. The only time you'll see this hand is if you're either cheating or you're starring in a movie with Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Either way, Good for you. Alright, so now that we've got all the boring shit out of the way, it's time we look at what a game of poker actually looks like. So at the start of the hand, the dealer will deal each player two cards face down. These are called hole cards. Why are they called hole cards? Uh, I don't fucking know. Once all the players have checked their cards, it's time for the small blind and the big blind to post the blinds. The blinds are the minimum betting amount that's established before the hand is dealt. So let's say in this scenario that the blinds are $2. The small blind will post $1, half of the blind amount, and the big blind will post $2, the full amount. Now it's time for the player left of the big blind to take action. We call this player under the gun. The player under the gun has three options. He can bet the minimum betting amount, he can raise based on that amount, or he can quit the hand altogether and fold like a little bitch. In this scenario, the player under the gun decided to raise $2, betting a total of $4. Raising this early on in the game usually means that the player has a good hand. Either that or he's full of shit. The fourth player decides to call and the fifth player folds. Like a bitch. Both blinds also call, and so the second round begins, with the dealer dealing the flop, which are three face-up community cards that everyone can use, just like your mom. On this round, the small blind is the first to act, and he now has a fourth option, called checking. Checking is when you basically say, I don't want to do shit, and I pass my turn. Now it's the big blind's turn, and he decides to bet $10. This is what's commonly known in poker as a big PP move. The under the gun player calls a $10 and raises an extra 10. Okay, so this is where poker gets a little bit tricky. If you want to raise, you can't just raise any arbitrary amount. Your raise has to be based on the last bet made. So since the last bet was $10, your raise has to be another $10. 
for a total of $20. The fourth player sees this raise and decides to fold because his balls aren't big enough. The small blind also folds, but the big blind decides to call. And so begins round three, with the dealer dealing the fourth card, called the turn. Since the small blind folded like a little bitch in the previous turn, it's the big blind who acts first now. The big blind decides to bet another $25 and the under the gun player calls. Things are getting interesting. And so the final round of betting begins with the dealer dealing the fifth card called the river. On this round, the big blind decides to bet an extra $50. And after thinking for a while, the under the gun player decides to call the $50 and raise an extra 50 for a total of $100. This is a very big peepee -pee move. The big blind calls and so a showdown takes place. With the under the gun player showing his cards first. Because the big blind player paid to see them. The under the gun player reveals had a pair of queens all along, which combined with the other queen and a pair of eights on the table gives him a full house. A goddamn full house. The big blind player only had a pair of sevens, which gets completely obliterated by the full house. He was bluffing all along. And that, my friends, is how you play poker. This has been a straight-to-the-point tutorial. I'm your host, Tiago, and I'll see you next time.